Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Guys, I want to tell you something. I got a word from the Lord for the body, and I'm going to tell you something. God is so serious. He tries so hard here on this platform, on my channel, that he gave me to teach you guys how to stay on that narrow road, y'all, because I'm trying to tell you, you can see things are escalating, that we're running out of time, you guys. You see it all around you. And just like he's been giving me a word a year and a half ago, I've been telling y'all for that long that this fall things were going to change. And I told you some of the things that were going to happen and they're happening this fall. They started this fall. OK, and, and they were going to watch them. That's that's like a little nugget to show you, hey, we're entering into the next phase. The next phase is going to be a little bit rougher, a little bit deep, a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. OK, and that's coming up this winter. That's the next phase. You guys, God is trying so hard here to say, hey, I'm here. Trust me, I'm here. But he wants you to love him back. He wants you to do all you can do to abide in him. To show him that you love him. That's what he wants you to do. Not for any human on this earth, but for him. And then he wants you, what he wants you to do for the humans is to let his light shine through you so that more people will want what you've got, which is him. Y'all, it's time to take this very serious here. I've been a lot of time with the Lord today, y'all. And I'm telling you, God, he ain't stopping. He ain't slowing down a bit. He ain't stopping. Lift your hands and praise him, y'all. If you got problems at home, if you got troubles, sicknesses, whatever, give it to him. Lift your hands up and say, God, take this. Put it at the feet of his cross, y'all, and trust him. Give him praise. You're like, I don't feel like praising. Praise him. You want to get out of that funk, F-U-N-K, the funk that you're in? Lift your hands to God and praise him, y'all. He is glorious. He is almighty. He's majesty. He is God. He's El Shaddai. He is your creator. He is your God. He knows exactly what you're going through. He knows exactly what you're thinking, what you're feeling. He knows all of it, y'all. You can't get nothing past him. He knows and he's there. He's there. And that's the word he has for me to tell you today. He's here for you, y'all. Every second of the day. What are you doing for him? What are you doing for him? Seriously. Are you doing everything he's told you and asked you to do in his word? Or, or some things you just can't trust him enough to do it. What are you doing for him? I want you to think about that. Are you obeying him? Are you honoring him? Are you trusting him? Do you love him? Because Jesus said, if you love me, a lot of people say they love me. But if you truly love me, you will obey my word with no problem whatsoever, y'all. Please understand that. Please understand that. I'm glad Jesus didn't wimp out on us with what he had to go through for each one of us, y'all. In the name of Jesus, love him back, you guys. Love him back. Love the time and effort he's putting into teaching you, to guiding you, instructing you, helping you. Love him so much, y'all. This is the word he has. Daddy God, I thank you for your word, Father God. I plead the blood of Jesus on it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Daddy God. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus Christ, I'm gathering my sheep. The barn is barely full. Hear my word and take heed to it. The harvest is here. I'm gathering my sheep into eternal glory. Lift up your head and remain in me, in my word. My word is true and faithful. The clock will not turn backwards, only forward. Wind's blowing. The clock will not turn backwards, only forward. The clock will strike midnight. Do you have oil in your lamps? Are you ready to shine in the dark? Are you ready to light the paths 
that many can't see. I am the light of this world. I am the light of the world. And you are my lampstands. The battle has begun. Put on your armor. Stay focused. Stay grounded. Stay strong in my word. Being sure to abide in it. I am truth. I am light. I am the way. I am eternal. I am your creator. I am God. Submit and devote your hearts to me, your very being to me. You are my great loves, and I am yours. Cast off all doubt and fear. I am in total control, and I am with you. Be with me, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, thank you, Father God, for not leaving us in, in these times that we're entering into. Thank you for doing nothing but guiding us, Jesus all the way to that narrow road and keeping us grounded on that narrow road, God. I lift your name high, Lord. I give you praise, honor, and glory because you deserve it, Daddy God. You deserve it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for going through what you, what you went through. Thank you for going through what you're still going through from your people. Thank you so much, God, for loving us the way you do. God, I lift your name on high, you are so worthy. You are more than worthy. You're the only one worthy, God. Jesus, you're my God, my friend, my father. Thank you so much, God, for caring about us so much like you do. God, I pray for every one of these people listening to this right now, God, that they will shut the evil out of their heart. They'll shut the evil out of their mind. They won't get sucked into Satan's trap of doubt, anger, Blasphemous thoughts, mockery, backbiting, backstabbing, gossiping, all that stuff. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ, foul spirits. I put a hedge of protection around every one of these people and around my channel and myself by the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. You have no power here. Be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Daddy God, that these people will shut the door to the enemy so that he cannot get in there and get a foothold in their life. I pray, God, that these people understand, Lord, that they can open the door or they can shut the door to that enemy. I pray that they understand every single choice they make matters in this life, God. Every single choice they make matters Thank you, God, for taking me on that journey 17 years ago and showing me this. Thank you for using me today to, to, to guide these people, God, onto that narrow road, into that barn. Thank you so much, God, for trusting me with that. And God, you give me whatever you want to do. You tell me what you want me to tell these people. I'll tell them, God, you know, I'll tell them I owe it to you and I'll do it. Thank you for having me. Show these people the way to you. Thank you for trusting me for something so big like that. In the name of Jesus, as I am nothing. Thank you, Daddy God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I, in Jesus' name, I pray. I pray you guys out there, you guys, you gals, whatever you are, in the name of Jesus, that you start taking your walk every single day with Jesus more serious. We're not here just wasting time on these videos, okay? Y'all, Jesus Christ. You know, my, all of you, most of you know my testimony. If you don't know it, go look at it. It's on the channel, my testimony. Where I was with Jesus 17 years ago when I took my life. And I was with him. And I know how he feels. He showed it to me. He let me feel pain that we cause him when we don't obey him. Pain that we cause him when we reject him and deny him and ignore him. It's a raunchy pain. Y'all have never felt nothing like it. Not on this earth. And we make him feel that way. Jesus. After all he's done for every single one of us, y'all. There's things in his word he's told us to do. And they didn't ask us. They're commands by our creator. That people buck up. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. Hurting him again. 
Ask yourself, have you hurt him lately? Have you hurt Jesus lately? If you have, right now, drop what you're doing. Tell him, I'm so sorry. I fall at his feet, y'all, and kiss his feet. Tell him you're sorry and get it right with him. You guys, he really loves you. He really, he let me feel that too. He really loves you with the love I can't explain. It's pure, y'all. You have never felt anything like that on this earth either. It is pure. There's nothing else like it here. And that's how he loves you. He loves you enough to take all that abuse, physical, mental, verbal, that he took for every single one of you. And then the the, the torture and the torment, mentally, physically, all that, phys all that for every single one of you individually so that you can have a chance. All he asks of you in return is to love him. Is that so hard to do? Satan's going to make sure it is. Obey God, y'all. He don't want you obey God. He didn't obey God. He don't obey his own creator. He's going to make sure you don't. So what do you do? You take your choices and your free will you have and you obey your God. We got it too easy here on this earth, y'all. We got it too easy in this generation. God's letting us get away with way too much here. People just forget about him like he's a piece of cheese. Like, he, he's, like he's nothing. Like, like their humanity is so much more bigger and more important than him. That's the way most of the world looks at it. But I'm going to tell you something, y'all. I was with him. He's power. He is power. And he's something. Let me tell you, he's something. He's everything. And he should be everything to you in your life. He should be everything, y'all. He should be your top number one priority. Obeying him should be on your list every day of a top priority. Check the list off. Am I obeying everything he's told me to do? I would double check that list, y'all, and I would have no problems doing it. Not after what he did for you. Because what he did for you is going to reunite you with him for eternity. You can't take the way this world's throwing stuff at you. The world's getting kind of funky, ain't it? Getting kind of ugly. You think you can handle the pit for eternity? Do you really? Make your mind up, y'all. Yes, Jesus is very real. Yes, life after you step out of this body is very real. And yes, you know exactly where you are, who you're with, what you're doing there. So, so wake up. Wake up. All right? If you don't know Jesus, ask him to save you. If you, if you sinned against him, y'all tell him you're sorry and do better by him. Do better by him. Y'all try to, okay? Do the best you can. It's a daily, pray, ask him for help. Ask him to help you. He wants to help you. All right, y'all? In the name of Jesus, God bless each one of you. Uh, we got Google Meets tomorrow night, Saturday night. R-A-O-U-B-O-F-M-V-I, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We got some things to talk about. We got some uh, military nurse Tara. We're going to talk about some... Uh, well, I ain't going to say it on here. Uh, we got Igor going to talk about some Halloween. You want to know what, what God thinks about Halloween? I know some people think it's so cute and innocent for their kids, but there's nothing innocent about it, and there's nothing Christ-like about it, period. Matter of fact, it's anti. So we're going to talk about it there. You need to come. <clears throat> All right. All right, in the name of Jesus, take that word and pray. Go repent, y'all. Go tell him you love him. Do whatever you got to do, but just don't wait. Don't wait. Don't put it off because that breath you're breathing in your body as you inhale and exhale, that's a gift from your creator. Every breath you have is a gift. Understand that. <clears throat> All right, in the name of Jesus, thank some of you for what you've done. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for helping us to help Africa. Every time you help us, you're helping Africa, too, because everything, a piece of all of it goes to Africa. All right. And I try to do that once a month. Thank you all for helping us back. All right. In Jesus name, more than anything, 
Love Jesus, y'all, and honor him. Obey him. Everything you do, when you, when you obey him, you honor him, you guys. You honor him. And you don't think he won't bless you when you honor him? Of course he will. The reason why a lot of people saying to me, I'm not getting any blessings. Why do I feel? Because are you honoring him? Are you obeying him? Why should he bless you? You understand? Honor him, y'all. He takes care of those who love him. And I'm going to tell you something. You want to hear God? Honor him. Obey him. You'll know when it's him. If you're honoring him and obeying him, you will hear him. And that's his word. And his sheep know his voice. And that's, that's a fact. I hear him all the time. But I do my best, y'all, the best I can do to walk according to his word, his will. Sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle in some things, y'all. But you know what I do? I fight through it. I pray. I study. I, I, st I take my willpower and I stand up and fight. That's what I do. I fight the enemy. And sometimes that's what you got to do. But you know what? We have a helper. We have someone that will help us do that. That you can't make with that. I'm called the Holy Spirit. So ask him. You don't think you have the Holy Spirit? There's no reason you shouldn't have him. Ask him. Jesus, fill me up. Repent. I'm sorry, Jesus. Forgive me. And fill me up with the Holy Spirit. That's all you got to do. Ask him. If you mean it with your heart when you ask him, you got it. And you tell him, thank you. You may not feel nothing so funny, and maybe you might. You may not feel anything at all. Just say thank you because God works off of faith. Do you believe him or do you need him to prove it to you? He already proved it to you, y'all. Just trust him, all right? All right. In Jesus' name, God bless each one of you.